this was just looking at changes in the perivascular spaces. And um, we use an automatic segmentation method to um, get a volume fraction. So the, the volume of the perivascular space divided by the area of interest that we were looking at, which was combined the supratentorial white matter and uh, basal ganglia regions, um, because conventionally people have looked at these two regions for perivascular spaces. Um, and so in this analysis, we had a volume fraction of perivascular spaces um, in these regions. And we looked to see if intensive treatment had an effect on the volume fraction of perivascular space as well, while co-varying for um, age and um, and the white matter hyperintensity volume uh, in chronic kidney disease, cardiovascular disease, baseline blood pressure. Um, and you, so using a mixed effects model, we found that intensive systolic blood pressure treatment actually slightly reduced the perivascular space volume fraction relative to the standard group. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's, so perivascular spaces are particularly interesting because, um, they may be sort of a means by which vascular health can lead to, um, neurodegenerative processes. And so while, you know, this isn't changing our clinical management at all, it's just, it, it could be, you know, it could potentially be an epiphenomenon of blood pressure treatment. Um, but, uh, because we know that, or so from cl preclinical studies, arterial stiffening, uh, is associated with high blood pressure and, and small vessel disease. And we, and there's some evidence that stiffening of the vessels may lead to reduced circulation in the, in the lymphatic system. And thus the lymphatic system, which enables clearance of, uh, Degenerative proteins. We think the lymphatic system is part of the clearance system that uh, clears things like amyloid. And so, if amyloids to accumulate, um, you know, that could lead to Alzheimer's disease or other types of neurodegenerative diseases. And so, you know, so that's why we think that you know perhaps the, um, if so, we were looking to see if intensive blood pressure treatment affected these structures that are thought to be part of this uh, lymphatic system. And, and they did. So it affected the lymphatic system in a way that is sort of reversing the changes that we see with aging and high blood pressure. Um, you know, we can't say whether that's necessarily beneficial at this time, um, but it's a possible mechanism by which um, improving your vascular health may improve the lymphatic system and ergo possibly reduce your risk for dementia. But, you know, there's a lot of work to be done before we can actually show that that's the case or, or that's the mechanism by which intensive blood pressure lowering is working.